Hello and welcome everyone. If you're finding me for the first time, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get updates whenever I upload. I cover series such as Game of Thrones, Westworld, The Walking Dead, Vikings, and much, much more. This particular video will be my recap and review of Victoria Season 2, Episode 6. In these weekly segments for ITV's Victoria, I do a brief recap for the latest episodes and provide my own personal thoughts along with a rating that is on a scale from 1 to 10. So let's jump right into the episode. So I will start off right where I left off my last review of Victoria, which was admittedly not a very positive review. And I ended saying I hope they step up the seriousness of the series in the second half. And I think it goes without saying that they stepped it up. The episode titled Faith, Hope, and Charity definitely tackled some serious issues. The main issue, of course, being the potato famine. We also got a look at the issues Albert's brother Ernest is facing in the subplot. I was wondering if they were ever going to address the various STDs that plagued the life of the real Ernest. This interfered with not only his ability to secure an ideal marriage partner earlier in life, but also resulted in various long stretches of his absence from public life. These were usually either due to treatments of the afflictions or the effects that the affliction caused for him cosmetically. So I like the way they handled the issue and appreciate them recognizing and addressing such an unglamorous subject matter for one of our beloved characters. It's definitely a step in the right direction, in my opinion at least. And it's no secret I'm a big fan of David Oak's work, and he is a pleasant addition in any episode, even in cases like this episode, where the story is not particularly, and appropriately, not so pleasant to watch at times. But nonetheless, the seriousness of a topic matter like this and willingness to show flaws in our characters scores big points with viewers like myself. As for the main storyline, which is centered around the famine in Ireland, I found this to be portrayed as properly as you can expect a series such as Victoria to handle such a delicate matter. We see a seemingly distraught and completely empathetic Victoria. Now, whether or not this is the way Victoria really felt is a topic that is argued over by many, and I will not try to state a case for either side. I, as always, encourage you to use the show as a way to become aware of certain historical events and for you to be motivated by the show to do some research for yourselves. And as always, I leave links in the information for those who want to learn more. But Jenna Coleman has once again proven herself as an excellent actress, and she has done a fantastic job portraying the Queen Victoria that the show has provided us with. Whether or not you think that is an honest depiction or not, the fact is Jenna does a fantastic job with what is given to her. And I think the episode successfully walked the fine line of showing the ignorance of the British government at this time, as well as showing that there were those who did want to help that were stuck in the difficult crossroads between heart and the obligations to political party and so on. The Prime Minister Robert Peel did actually secretly purchase grain shipments and produce such as corn and sent them to the Irish, which leads us to believe that he was sympathetic to the cause to a point, but also he did not change any of the policies that helped this epidemic get to the horror state that it was currently in. The same goes for Victoria, who is shown giving funds to Reverend Robert Trail, who actually is an ancestor of writer Daisy Goodwin, who in real life, from my research, seems to have actually been every bit of the man depicted in the show, serving as a good representation of the many good people in Ireland desperate to help privately, but face an impossible task in the absence of state intervention. This topic is very complicated and has a lot of different sides and aspects you need to look at, both in Ireland and Britain, as well as the United States. But I feel that with the overwhelming amount of sadness and newfound awareness shown by those taking the social media in the last few days that it's a good sign that the show has actually brought the attention needed to this topic and will hopefully do as I always encourage and look at this historical event in a new way and do some reading of their own and educate themselves on this epidemic. I will end this review by saying famine is usually associated with a natural disaster of some sort, and this is rarely the case. Famine is almost always caused not by the lack of food, but by the lack of access to food. The potato famine is sadly a perfect example of this, and it leads to issues as far down the line as the events in the 20th century known as the Troubles. I will leave a link for everyone looking to learn more about this, and I give this episode an 8.5 out of 10 and look forward to next week's episode. Make sure to check out the Patreon link and the information and consider becoming a member. A small amount from you guys will really make a world of difference for me and will include some pretty cool perks for you as well. So thanks everyone again, and I'll see you soon.